Hello. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. I got distracted by a box of chocolate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Do you now? Oh. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. We're trying to get a bunch of stuff done before we go. We're, my wife got finagled into uh, being at a wedding at last minute. Mm. And, and down in California, Northern California. So we're planning a trip, trying to figure out how to do it. So do you drive there or what? Yeah, it's an eight hour drive. So it'll be fun to get out. We haven't had a change of scenery for a long time. So mm -hmm. it's just, just for the weekend. So, so you have to leave. What's today? Today is Tuesday. You have to leave Thursday well, or something? Friday morning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool. It'll be crazy, but that's all right. You were able to get time off easy. Yeah, yeah. I worked out, so I, but my schedule's kind of crazy this week because I had to rearrange things. But it is good. Yes. Because you could. Yes. Some people can't. So they, yeah. That's true. That's kind of why I I, I kind of like that gas station job. <laughs> It's more flexible in some ways. So. Uh -huh. Very but, good. All right. I have completely lost track of where we were and what we were supposed to be doing. So let me find oh. you in my inbox. I mean, I know it's opt-in page related, but yes. that's all I know. You talked about the Fire FTP. Okay. You got that? I got that. Oh. I never use Firefox, but... That's okay. This is the only reason why I use Firefox on purpose. Okay. Is this one add-on because it's it's just a lot simpler than the um, FileZilla thingy. Okay. I don't know visually for me it just works better. Um, All right. And then the capture page machine is that what you wanted to use? Well. And then there's I oh there, what you said in the email. There's um, a uh, there's a plugin called Lead Rocket that I think uh, Kelvin has oh. the. That's the one you told me. And that one, all it does, the only, it's, the limit, they're pretty, but the limitation is that you just have, and it could be a good limitation, that you just have, like, a box with a headline and, you know, a little call to action space in the form, and that's it, with a big picture behind it. Okay. Do you know the, that style? Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so, that goes on to your regular, your, your hosted, um blog and you can make pages at random with that oh uh, okay and it and that you yeah, don't I think I have I have one on my blog but I disarmed it I just act deactivated it because I it it was weird and then I I know how to do that now well <laughs> yeah all plugins are not created equal so even right. if it thought it does what it, you think it does it may or may not and I ain't getting into any other it's like every every time you have a plugin, it's like a new code challenge for okay. for the developer. Is the developer good? Do they keep it up to date with WordPress? Blah 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 blah. Right. So you really want to use ones that people are actively. A lot of people are using, and the person is like committed to developing going forward. Okay. Um, because when you update your WordPress, then you want to know that your plugins are going to continue to match up. Right. Keep pace. I th I think I used I can't even remember now but on my blog I used the one that you told me to use um, okay. and it, it didn't work it well didn't no work. It, it it worked fine I just um, the I the our original idea my idea was to have the interviews mm -hmm. and that was just too much work for me right now um, okay and so. I never got the interviews done, so I had this page on my blog that was like, hey, get my interviews. And Well, so. but they can be cumulative. I mean, the person who gets it today and doesn't get another one for a couple months, they're still getting your interviews. So don't and feel, I can still email them. Yeah, don't feel like you have to have like a library of 20 before people can opt in. Right. As long as yeah. there's something to deliver when they opt in, then they're on their own whether they want to stay or not. Yeah. Okay. Well... This one, well, I have the domain name, the 30daylistbuilder.com, and I thought that tied in cool, and, it, and I don't know. I just
just so I, Yeah. So did you want to put that on your hosting? Yeah. Or you could use it and just point to a page on your existing blog. You can like forward that domain so it lands there, lands oh. people there. That's the simplest way. Unless okay. you think you want to develop out a whole site around that, but if it's just like an opt-in thing, then you yeah, can just, just an opt-in. Then just use the domain and forward it to a page. So you got to create the page inside of your other regular main blog. Okay. And then go into the registrar wherever you bought the domain and forward oh. it to that page. And you can even mask it so they don't even know they're on the other domain. Um, okay. Um, I'm just looking at this thing. Um, you, I'm looking at your email. I know we have like these endless emails, and they kind of <laughs> they kind of land in these funny places. It depends on how you respond to my original email, because some of right. mine get fol Please. filtered into a folder for Aweber, and I'm just like, oh, oh dang, Gabe wrote this several days ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, well, I wrote you some bullet points. You asked me for what text I wanted on it, and so I mm -hmm. I had the the initial line. At the, that's supposed to be at the top, the headline, okay. and then I had some bullet points. So why don't we, why don't we go into, if you're going to use the plugin, there's two choices. If you're going to use the plugin, you can, the lead rocket thing, which I think I can probably scare up from Kelvin. Okay. I think, I don't know if I have a copy or not. Um, and then the other choice is to um, use the lead capture machine, the What's it called? Cap page. Capture page <laughs> machine. And then just FTP it to, again, still to the same domain, the, the original blog domain, but then also you can just point the the domain that you want it to be reading, the, the list builder thing. You can point that yep. to that indiv independent page too. Right. So you're just working on one hosting, well, it'll all be on one hosting space, but just working under one domain on the hosting space. Okay. And I think it would be the best way to do that list builder right. thing. Yeah. Okay, because I've already got hosting on my blog. I don't need to mess with getting a new hosting for the. Well, you other might. Domain. You could also, if you wanted to manage and um, keep up another blog, you could put this, a second domain, usually on the same hosting. Um, you can't. Uh, you probably got HostGator because that's what I give you. I point. I, did, did I host yours or did it? You hosted mine because I didn't have any cash at the time, and right, you right. just you took care of it. Okay, um, so. I, there's pro I think there's three domains allowed on those those little ones that I have. So you okay. could you could technically add it on as a domain and have a whole secondary blog. Uh -huh. But then it's like this whole secondary blog. And I think the the point here is just to have opt-in pages. Right. So yeah. you can manage those on the same installation or the same under the same domain. And even if you wanted another one on the list builder one, you could do a subdomain on the registrar and still redirect that one to another page that you created. See what I okay. mean? So if so, I eventually wanted to have a have some more blog posts or something related to that, um, you would you would have to actually redo the whole thing. Okay. Well, at this point, all I care about is it. I is think it I think fast, long? fast and easy is the way to go. Yes. Yeah. Because so, I already have been trying. I. I started the watchmequitmyjob.com. dot com. I mm -hmm. I started it and uh, it's been a headache. Um, I even I've already got posts written because I, I I told myself I'm going to write them while I'm at the gas station. Whenever I get, I'm just going to say, and I'm not going to I'm not going to edit them much or anything. I'm just going to mm -hmm. I write them on a yellow pad on the counter. <laughs> right. And um, I, I I told my I did it. I did like four or five posts. I think. Cool. And. I haven't posted them yet. <laughs> oh, well. What about um? Do they can they go? On, you have an Empower Network blog, don't you? Yes. Yes. Can they not live there? I thought of that too. Um, I thought it might. I get confused about these things. I it might. I really would. I really wanted to just have that website and have that connected to the Facebook page and everything. Um, okay. Um, okay, yeah, so... I, I'm almost there, anyway. But that's kind of a side of thing. Sort of. It's all, it's all interconnected. Yeah. Because depending on which blog you consider your main blog, 
So the what's the other one? Is the other one Gabe? GabeTurner.com. Yeah, see, GabeTurner.com could have a link at the top that takes you to Watch Me Quit My Job. Could have yep. it take you to a link to um, online marketing stuff if that's what you wanted to put on Empower Network or any other topic that you wanted to right. put on Empower Network because those blogs are now completely um, uh, customizable. They don't have to have the Empower Network stuff on them at all if you don't oh, want really? them to. Yeah, you can put a new header, you can put the new sidebar, a new opt-in, everything. Uh, so okay. you, it's totally up to you how you want to use it. But the the point is that you can take the menus that are on the top of GabeTurner.com and use it as like the tr- you know the branches of Gabe Turner. Okay. So Gabe Turner is the tree, and then these other things are these different branches. So one is one goes to Watch Me Quit My Job. One goes to you know build your list today or whatever. Right. You know, okay. Whatever the the menu names would be, but nice. um, and, and then it, it is tempting to continue to build sites out on these different ideas. But if yeah. you can sometimes redirect them just to an opt in for that kind of concept, I yeah, think, I think it kind of shortcuts things. Yeah, unless you're yeah. planning to do SEO around a particular set of words. You see what I mean? Okay. And then, but I don't do any of that. I just like yeah. kind of put things so that they bolt together and go. Right. Yeah, I'm. I, I I'm totally just down with. Let's do the list, and I'm just gonna. I I think I think I would probably be better at writing emails than blog posts. Actually, <laughs> they kind of come. They kind of come out of me a lot easier because it, it seems more casual and conversational. Um, you can dual purpose them too. So yeah, yeah. So wherever you want are comfortable with the creation is just wherever you're comfortable. Doesn't matter. Yeah, and um, yeah. So okay, so we need to make a page that you're going to point your thirty day list builder, the thirty day list builder. Dot com. Yes. Yeah. At ultimately. So the page has to exist so you can set up the forward. And um, let me just see if Kelvin's around and we can get that lead rocket thing in place because he got a developer account with it. Oh. Do you know if I have a login for your site or not? I can't remember. You gave it to me. Mm, Uh. No, I mean like do I have a login? Sometimes when I, usually I, when I expect to work on other people's sites, I usually make myself log in too. But let me. I, I don't remember. You just, you you made up my username and my password and um, okay. I don't have your login. Don't say it out loud because I, this thing has a recording going. Oh. I, I have a Skype recorder, so we'll see how it turns out and we'll okay. decide if we want to use it later. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want me to, to Skype it to you? Um, yeah. I can't see where I do that. <laughs> um, I can beep you and it'll pop up. It, do you just see a picture? Is that the deal? Yeah. So you have to... Oh, here it is. Yeah. I get There's like expose the... Uh, what should I call it? I think it's Oh, okay. do, should I not be in at the same time or can uh, does, I? It doesn't matter. I okay. think um... GabeTurner.com. Okay. Is this um, is this a uh, a uh, theme, or did what did we do with that? I think it was just a free one that I found that I liked. Okay. Uh, WP. Admin. Oh, it looks like my browser remembers that anyway. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. 
Oh, pop up domination is what you have. That's a different thing. That's for a pop okay. up. That's for a pop up rather than a a page. You know, a, right. a, a static page. Right. Um. And it, probably since you're sort of digging into this, we ought to hit um, Kelvin up for some mm. like basic stuff, basic guidelines about security because I'm li really lazy about that. But there's oh. like some stuff we can back up mm. some things. So that you don't have to redo things should oh. disaster strike. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if he just oh. sent it. Oh, he's, another, looking, he's looking another for it. Thing. Was he there? He's yeah. looking for it, oh. yeah. Another thing that I just rem remind, remembered of when I see all my comments there, I get I get all these comments that are just junk. Yeah, that's one of the things. Like, um, Let's see. Did you say that on the group recently? I'm, I don't think so. I was planning on it, but I don't think I did. Somebody said something about that recently. Let me... Where are you? The blog that okay. I manage for one of my clients has got like 3,000 comments, and I, it's like one of my dreaded tasks that I have Do to do. Do they figure. have a Kismet set up? I'm not sure. Okay. I need to check. So, do you know which one that is? I mean, that's... Is that a plug-in? Mm-hmm. I think I remember, I, all I remember is seeing that. Yours is not activated, so oh. um, that'll stop that. Oh, mostly. wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So why don't you go, why don't you do that? It's, you active, activate it, and activate. then it, and then it, yeah, you can actually update it first. It's not updated there. Oh. Update it, then activate it, and it'll. I just activated it. <laughs> that's okay. It's, Should I deactivate? No, you can you can still update it. And, Settings. And then um, you want to. Uh, what am I blanking here? You when you go into the they. Oh, it says update now. Yeah. A, a new version. Okay. Update. Do that, and then it's gonna prompt you to go get your number, your a API number or something. I forget what they call it. And your key. Your, your key. Yeah. So you have to go to that site, and it used to be that it was really clearly there was a way to get it for free, and because it's listed in the WordPress um, uh, library, it's supposed to be free, but they made it kind of goofy to uh, a way to figure out how to do it. Oh. So just go in there without any guilt and slide it to zero contribution and okay. personal and move forward because they really... It's, it's the WordPress people trying to be marketers, and it's stupid. Okay. Um, oh, it downloaded something. I, zip. Yeah. Oh, you no no. Where you where'd you go? Well, it says downloading update from HTTP downloads. Oh, do I click on enter your Kismet API key for it to work? Is that no? Is oh. it? Is it uh, here? Let me see what you did. I'm gonna refresh. I'm on update plugin. It yeah, it's it's plug like it's 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 updated now. So yeah, just oh. go to that enter API key thing, and that'll take you to the site where you have to get your, you know, oh. connect the dots here. Okay. And just when it prompts for many, slide it to zero. And they'll say you suck or something like that. <laughs> and then yeah. And what does it say? Please enter an API key. Click there. Okay. And oh, then, key. yeah. Uh, and then you click under the two things under the box. Well, when you empty your key, there's two little tick marks, and then update, and it'll be good to go. Okay. And that'll stop 97, 98, 99 percent of that spam that you're oh, dreading. Great. You're you're working your way out of a job right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, signing up. Requires a WordPress.com account. Sign in with your existing account or create a free one. Admit. Do you have a .com account? Oh, I don't know. I... Well, then just enter your, your email. They'll tell you if you do or not. Oh, okay. But the cool part is is that you can use your API key with those um, with those clients. I mean, you're not technically supposed to, but it'll oh. be a fast way to for you to get through your work. Oh, just, good. Just kind of claim. Well, what do I do with all the comments that are already there? I need to go through and see if any of them are good, right? I have to do that. The way, yeah, if you, or just delete them all, one or the other. Yeah. Um, 
the way that I determine whether I even want to mess with them is if they have a picture or not, because ninety, you know, most of the spam won't. Oh. And the people who don't have their, um, yeah, most of the spam won't. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's loading mm -hmm. forever. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Triple check your email. It's the only way we want. Huh. It says that email address is already used. Okay. So then you have one. one. Yeah. Oh, can I just use my my username and password for my login for my work? work? No, it's separate. Oh, gosh. So just if you don't know the password, request the password. That's the fastest way. And then go to that email. Okay. Hmm. He's given me a bunch of things. I might have to FTP it anyway. Okay, so there's three parts to this plugin. That's impressive. Okay. Um, I'll just download them. All right, so I've got these parts. I'm going to upload them into the plugin file, I guess. Okay. Plugin add new. Huh, I've never seen a three part plugin before in my life. <laughs> Other two are needed for the plugin. Unzip. Unzip. He said the background ones I unzip. The other two are needed for the plugin. Gonna try all three through the um, plugins, add new section, upload, blah blah blah, and we shall see what happens next. Here, uh, log in. Um. So I'm in to my WordPress account. <sighs> okay, all you needed was to log in. Now go back to the Akismet thing. I think. These are... You can go back starting th through your dashboard if you need to, you know, find it. Oh, Akismet stats... Where are you at? You want to go not inside of WordPress.com, but inside of your GabeTurner.com dashboard. Go back oh. in through there and go to Akismet. Probably right-click on their link where it says you need to get your API key and all that, blah, 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 so that you don't lose your regular space. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs>
Plugins. Media library. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. It's just configuration. Yeah. So you're trying to find your way back to sign up for the Akismet key. Okay. So just right click on when they say get your key, right click and open a new tab for that so that you're not thrown off. Because I think it opens like in the same frame, in the same window. Oh, and it just confuses people. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Get your key, finally. Did you right click on it? Um. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what, my mouse, my... You're fine. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> I never figured out how to get my external mouse to do a right click, so I never did. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, come on. This stuff is so... <laughs> like right, I know. So but time consuming. Just do it once. Uh, and then you'll be able to use it on your client site, so you're you're double timing here. Yes, yes. So just wherever it says, select personal and select zero, and just they keep saying yes, I really mean it. Yes. Or free, I want it free, whatever it is. <laughs> okay, here we go. Trying to get these to upload. Oh, and then that sends it to your email. They'll send the key to your email. It says authorize. Yes, authorizing. And when you get the key from your email, you put it in that settings for the Akismet configuration part. Okay. So I say sign up to the zero to one hundred twenty dollars a year. Slide it to zero. Oh, okay. Here we go. See what zero. I mean? <laughs> and then they say, "Are you sure?" <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure you didn't really mean that. Yes. There we go. Clicking continue. Yes, agree. Send me useful tips. No. Or how you can decrease spam every month. No. Continue. It's waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay. Take me back to my account, my WordPress account. It's now active. Okay. So now you should have an Akismet. I think it generates an email, right? Look, um, at, look and see in that email account if it's in there. Yeah. Yep. My my key. Okay, I'm uploading the the opt-in page plugin Beautiful. and something called scripts, and then I have to unzip a file that, of backgrounds that comes with it and upload them through your media file, apparently. Okay. And I don't know how it all comes together, but apparently Kelvin says it comes together. So <laughs> we just follow in the <coughs> instructions. So then. And it's your key. Entering the key. There you go. And then click those little check boxes below, the one that says delete spam every 30 days or something. Oh, uh -huh, yes. The other one that says counts comments or something. Show the number of comments you've approved beside each comment author. Yeah. Click that too. Mm hmm. Okay. Because what that'll do is even if somebody comes through and looks funny, if you've, uh -huh. if you've decided they're okay, then you'll be able to like quickly see that I've already, I've already evaluated that. Right. Once. Okay, so. Um, so I, I guess I did it. So sign up success. Um, okay. Is that, I guess that's it then? Uh, yeah. Entered the key. And yeah. Now what you can do is, um, you know, mark that email or, or any time you need to come back to your Gabe Turner and get the uh -huh. Akismet number for your other your other accounts. Uh -huh. um, I think as long as you're part, you know, part developer on anything, it should be kind of kosher. 
It's a, okay. It's a very gray space, this open source stuff. Okay, I will send it to my business email. Alright, let's see. So, oh, he's saying from a developer's point of view, we're going to start having MPPers sign client services agreements. Uh huh. So that we're kosher on the the all these different software shares. Oh. That's a good idea. All right. So, beautiful. Wow, I didn't expect to have that taken care of. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a that's a main thingy because, like you're talking about three thousand comments. How long is that going to take you to dick? I sorry. know. I, I was <laughs> talking to a friend about telling him I'd pay him ten dollars an hour to figure it out to deal with it. Nah. Yeah. I would honestly, I would like scan through and see if there's pictures, and if there's not, just delete all of them. Mark all okay. of them. And just, just get rid of them and start yeah, fresh. I, I just feel bad because I've had that blog up for a year. Mm -hmm. And I I just think I always ask people to comment at the end of the, the posts. <laughs> but um, I've never approved a comment yet. <laughs> well, then just, I, just wipe the slate clean and start fresh. Yeah. So that's, time is of the essence here. Okay. All right. So... Let's see. After this week, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now I just need to um, open up the backgrounds um, file, apparently, <laughs> and then what happens? Apparently I knew. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, hmm. I wonder if I upload a whole file to your media file, or I have to do the individual pictures. I had a real success uh, this last month or two uh, with my client, this one client. They um, And it really highlighted to me how why they say blog every day. Hmm. Because I've been blogging on this blog. We do four posts a month for them. And we've done it for a year, a year. And I did, my wife usually does them. And but I did one just because she needed me to do one that month. And mm -hmm. it was a stupid post. It was just like, <laughs> I, I looked online. I Googled for, like, quotes about home and family because that's their motto is welcome to the family. Okay. And it's a housing development. So I, I just found quotes, and I found 25, and I just cut and paste them into a blog post, and I put a picture in. Right. That okay. post has become... The one, the top one or two uh, traffic drivers of that website. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah, and most of my other posts get, you know, not that much, but they're okay. Mm -hmm. But this one is just miles beyond any of the other ones I've done. But it took me, you know, four times twelve <laughs> to get uh, to get a post that really yeah. hit. It, you know. Do you have um, Google Analytics set up on that site? Yes. Because sometimes you can also see other phrases that people are coming in on and target those for posts. Okay. You know, just random stuff that you would never even have imagined. Right. And target those phrases to gather more of that traffic that's already happening. Okay. I mean, assuming they're kind of on target, sometimes it'll be like a, you're, you're talking about one thing and it's actually an album title or something. And then you're like, yeah. no, nah, that's not what I want. But... <laughs> Mm -hmm. it, it, it's weird I mean it, the traffic I don't know if it'll do anything for them I mean it's just people looking for quotes but it looks good on the reports <laughs> well sure it does but it's you never know um, all of that is just backlink traffic too which helps everything okay so you know the specific traffic is one thing but then there's also the see what other <laughs> phrases people come in on that they're actually looking for because that's the that's the actual real people traffic is people yeah. typing in and searching for these like off the off the wall things you would just would never have thought uh -huh. were the things they'd end up coming to you for for so if they're 
appropriate to the topic, then you yeah. would continue to write in some of that direction, so it would gather more, more um, oomph for those keywords. Okay. Yeah, we're actually coming up, we're kind of getting writer's block with this thing. We're getting really tired of mm -hmm. writing. <laughs> uh, hmm. So that might be a way to figure out what we're going to write on. But mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's worth a look anyway. It's hard to say, really. Mm -hmm. um, okay, it looks like this is all in place. Oh, I see how this works. Okay, so now if you go to Plugins, Installed Plugins... Um, I'm going to delete this Hello Dolly one. That's a pet pet one by the guy who did the original. I don't know if he's the original WordPress guy, but he's the one whose name is connected to it. Oh. But it just comes with every one. I'm just deleting them. Okay. And um, the two that I just added are Lead Rocket Pro and Lead Rocket Scripts. Okay. And I don't know... I don't know where they get used exactly, but the Lead Rocket Pro is a part. It's it's if you go start a new page, so go to Pages, Add New. And I think there's uh, some... Um, pages, Add New, okay. Yeah, if you go to Pages, Add New, and then you'll see down below your regular text area, there's now a Lead Rocket Pro section. I see, I see. So you can pick the, pick the form uh. base. And then, um, then you can also below that is the logo, the, the form template, then the logo and background. So you can pick a logo which ends up above the uh, above the headline. I I think I skipped it. I can't remember um, the background image. You you go find an image um, or a color. Oh, turn that off a second. Okay. And then the headline and the button, all that stuff you have to fill in in order for the, the page to exist. So you're not going to put anything in the text area up top at all. Uh, okay. Like the regular WordPress area, you're going to develop the page all, only under this Lead Rocket Pro section. So just click the template that I like. Yeah, and then go to the next section, which is logo and background. Okay, so... Uh, so, okay, I need to, do I just click on any of them? Or? Yeah, just pick one. Okay. Uh, oh, I can always change it, right? Yeah. Um, I'll pick the one on the bottom. It's fine. Uh, okay. Oh, that's just to, okay, you got to click the bubble. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so lead rocket script, enter scripts you want output between head and head. No, before that, right oh, below. logo and background. Yeah, each of those is a little drop-down section. This is yeah. about the page itself, and the scripts, I think, I don't know what that's about. That's like stuff for tracking, I'd imagine. But don't worry Mark about don't worry about that until you've got the page creation part down. Okay. Um, so there's all these little sections you have to fill in. I think somewhere there's a, there's like, um, what do you call it, uh, tutorials. I'm sure there's tutorials. I feel like there was a section that I, maybe in YouTube, I found a playlist or something. Um, but the gist is you need to find a background picture uh, or pick a color. See, see where it says or? Background image. And that says upload image or run logo and background. Uh, I was clicking around. Um, Stop it. <laughs> well, I was <laughs> I was getting the headline that I wanted. Um, okay. ah, I've got too many tabs open. I can't find it now. Well, close some tabs. There we go. Okay. So, I'm paying attention now. Okay, logo image. Um, I can't remember. It says required, so it might be. I feel like I put like a, an, a transparent thing in there because I didn't really want a logo. Yeah. Let me look and see if I've got. Um, uh, I can't even remember which side it was on that I had. Maybe it's this one. Um, but then, go the next section. The next field down says um, background. Yeah. 
So you can either pick a picture, you want a high resolution picture, or the next thing says or and there's like a little white square. I think if you click on that white square. It just says or. White square. But it says or, it says blank. Right, so click that. Please click. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing to click. Okay, wait a second. If you click the little blank thing, it brings a color drop down. Only once do you need to click it for it to work. <laughs> well, I just, I'm honestly, I don't see anything there. It Maybe. says or, and there's a little blank white space, and then it says required, right? Yeah, yeah, a blank space. Okay, so if I click that, and I'm using Chrome right now, I get a drop down of different color choices. Oh. For for a, okay, so you're not getting that. So probably no, you need to not. open a different browser to to make it work. I'm using Chrome too. Let's. See. Um. Well, some one of these browser windows will work, and you'll be able to, you know, just pick up like pick white okay. there if you wanted to. So that's just easier than putting a picture. Okay. For the just for this practice run is what I'm saying. Right so that you get a whole page put together and you can play with the headlines and stuff. Okay. Um, in fact, I'll go in your page, wherever you are. Uh, it, why don't you put a title in that page and save it? Oh, it's a no title page. <laughs> My daughter does that all the time. She will go... <laughs> And it, you know what we figured out it means? She's like agreeing with me when she does that. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'll tell her something and she'll go, I don't like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's easier. That's but it's, it's, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not it's spontaneous. It's nothing that she, re yeah, that's like, right. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm trying to find what I wrote. Um, well, I just wanted you to save the page with the the title. I'll I'll go in there. Oh. Just save the page at all. Oh, this one says downtown block party. That's not it. Oh, save. that's my picture. Oh. I'm on a different page. So just oh. uh, save draft. You see on the top right where it says publish, save draft. Yes, publish, save, draft, save it. Yeah, so that it has a, it's on this list of pages so I can see it. And I'll go in there and change it to a white background so you don't have to mess with the picture right now. Oh, okay. And this is going to be, what? what's it called, list 30? Uh, 30daylistbuilder.com is the, uh, the URL, but I have a, uh, I'm just going to name the page so that you Whatever. Can, yeah, I can change it. So that you can identify it. Okay, and I'm going down page here to add the hopefully be able to add the um, logo background thingy. And Looks like it defaults to white, is what it's doing. If you don't have a background image, let me see if I can find the logo image on. It's on my version here. Because I remember I did something for it, but I can't remember what exactly. And then you'll be able to just play with the headlines and stuff and, and move forward and. Um, grab your Aweber op, uh, code and so forth. So it's like the mechanics of it will be in place and then you can make it look what it, however you want it to look. Okay. Oh, this is the wrong place. Uh -huh. That's why it doesn't work. Alright. Cool. I'm going to stop this recording now because I think we've okay. gotten gotten some good stuff. <laughs>
and uh, or something. you'll have your, I don't know, you'll have your um, opt-in page. You'll help somebody put their opt-in page together. That's a good thing. So, anyway, I mean, it can be part of your, um, we can add it as part of your 30-day list builder offer. Oh, how to set listen, up a lead Listen, listen to me setting it up in the first place. Yes. <laughs> setting up the opt-in for the, the opt-in you just went through. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's cool. All righty. Let me stop it.